You were telling me about the things that are priorities for you right now. What are the biggest challenges for Aries? Aries, just like the 1,500 or so companies that we follow on a daily or weekly or monthly basis, is looking at what everyone is looking at, which is how do we restart the economy? When can we restart the economy intelligently and thoughtfully? And whether that's 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, we all appreciate and frankly are benefiting and will benefit from an extraordinary amount of federal intervention. But at the end of the day, it's about when can we restart the economy appropriately and thoughtfully. And we don't know quite yet. We know that we will require an all clear. We don't know the definition of that all clear. But the good news, and there is some good news out there, which is banks generally are better capitalized than they were in 2008. Most companies are better capitalized than they were in 2008. And most are trying to figure out ways to be as liquid as possible to get through what is most certainly going to be a horrendous 30 days or 60 days or 90 days of this economic shutdown. We're in an extraordinary moment in time that companies and landlords and tenants are trying to figure out how to access liquidity any way possible. And we do have the good fortune that the federal government has the capacity to inject two to six trillion dollars of capital into this marketplace. But as you've described, as many others have described, trying to figure out whether it's called a timeout, whether it's called a 30 or 60 or 90 day transition. But the objective, of course, is to look at light at the end of the tunnel to see how we can restart this economy thoughtfully. Um, and that's the kind of messaging I do believe we're trying to help every company and every landlord and every real estate owner we do business with which is to try to be as liquid as possible, helping them be as liquid as possible, Tony, and to plan for the reopening when appropriate. To the degree that Aries and others, but let's talk about Aries for the moment, is benefiting from the extraordinary uh, assistance, let's call it, relief being provided by the Fed and the Treasury, are you able to turn that around and use it to provide, to grant forbearance to some of your borrowers and some of your um, tenants? Listen, we're trying to make sure every company and real estate owner imaginable has access to liquidity so that they can stay current if possible. But please understand, our job as Aries Management is to be trying to help each and every borrower to prepare for what is, in fact, uncharted territory that they've not seen before. There are no safe havens in the true sense of the word. So everyone is trying to figure out how to be liquid and how to conserve or protect whatever liquidity they have. Uh, we at Aries Management, uh, yes, we, we've been somewhat fortunate. We have some extraordinary access to liquidity. Uh, just yesterday, we announced uh, a sale of 4.9% of the of the stock of our business to a very large Japanese bank, SMBC. We happen to have been in those discussions for over 12 months to do so. But we were looking for uh, a joint venture partner to help us distribute product in the Japanese market, a marketplace, in fact, starved for, if you will, safe, higher-yielding assets. So for us, it was uh, business as usual over the past 12 months, and then we got into this uh, remarkable period, and we went forward with a transaction that was great for us and we think great for SMBC. So adding equity capital at this moment in time, and frankly a decent price for us and for SMBC, is a method by which one could uh, better position themselves by being more liquid. Yes, we could play offense if and when appropriate, but, but now is a time to circle the wagons to be sure that you have an appropriate amount of liquidity, no matter what company 
or what type of real estate you own or manage. And do you feel rent. confident that Aries does have that liquidity? I do. I, I actually feel we have an extraordinary amount of liquidity for our business. Um, I actually also believe uh, having 25 or 30 billion of dry powder to invest uh, in our portfolio companies so that we can, as every uh, significant asset manager hopefully would acknowledge, the job now is to both play offense and defense, to help the portfolio companies that you have exposure to, help them weather the storm, and if and when appropriate, of course, make loans where the risk reward is enormously attractive. The world we live in, virtually every company, certainly every company that has access, is looking for some form of additional liquidity and some form of rescue loan, if you will, that helps them navigate what are fairly remarkable choppy waters. But that's, that's what the next 30, 60, 90 days are all about. And yes, it absolutely could go longer in terms of a recession. We see that. We see the economic slowdown. That's not new information. But being positioned to reopen your business in conjunction with a reopened economy it is what today is about. Tony, so planning. I just have to get in yes, this I'm last sorry. question before we run out of time. The other hat you wear is owner of the Atlanta Hawks, the National Basketball Association franchise. It's one thing to try and get select parts of the economy working again. How long do you think it's going to be before we can have live sporting events? This is a tough question. Um, as you could imagine, our, our, our primary focus has to be taking care of our employees, both full-time and part-time, uh, being a good member of our community. Um, but uh, basketball right now is a, a little bit last on that list, at least for me. Um, you know, if you think about what the league is looking at, is, is of course, uh, protecting the safety of our players, fans, employees, uh, versus people wanting their lives to, to go back to whatever the next normal really is. It's just too soon uh, to have a, an answer or to have clarity on that. Um, but there is no doubt uh, there will be basketball at some point in the future. I just don't know if it's we I sure hope so. Tony, tell us a bit about how your lots of businesses are furloughing employees. In many cases, they have no choice but to fire. What are you doing with the full-time and part-time staff at the Atlanta Hawks? Uh, we are um, keeping everyone... Uh, exactly as they were before uh, this uncharted territory began. Uh, we are uh, keeping all of our full-time and part-time employees paid as if uh, the concerts and basketball games had occurred. Um, we've made that clear to our Tony, employee base. 